Alright guys, we're gonna be um doing a video on Internet Explorer and Google Chrome. Internet Explorer 9 and Google Chrome. Someone sent me a message, told me to check out Internet Explorer 9, which I'm gonna do right now and see if it's worth checking out. I absolutely hate Internet Explorer, but maybe Internet Explorer 9 will change my mind. Um I have tried it out a little bit and I already made a decision, but I'm not gonna um say it until the end of the video. So let's get just watch the whole video so you can see the speed test before you skip it because I know some people are gonna want to skip it, but just watch the speeds. So open up Internet Explorer. I cleared everything there, so there you go. The web browsing history. I didn't clear the one from Internet Explorer, but I think that shouldn't make a difference. Let me go to MySpace. So MySpace loaded pretty, I don't know, it didn't load that that fast, um, let me try it again. Again, it's loading up pretty fast, but not too smooth, and we're going to check out Internet Explorer, Amazon's front page, so let me see, we're going to be trying to MySpace again, but an Internet Explorer. Again, much smoother, much faster. Let's an explore. Let's try out Facebook on um, Google Chrome. So Facebook, Facebook, right there. Again, uh, it's fast, but you don't, you get that glitch effect. And I don't know. I don't want you guys to get confused. The glitch effect means when it loads up, you you'll see certain things loading at different times. What I've seen with Internet Explorer is, is everything mostly loads at the same time. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, we're going to Google Chrome, I mean to Internet Explorer and check out the same website on um, Facebook. There we go. Much smoother. And there you go. I'm not going to close it. Um, we're going to try CNN. CNN.com. See how that works. Again, that one took a little bit longer to load up. Let me go in here and try to load up CNN again. Much smoother, as you can tell. And one thing I've noticed is Flash content loads a little bit faster. So, on Internet Explorer, so very good in that part. We're going to try the other channel. That will be weather.com. Again, loaded everything at different times, so much slower. It's still fast, but you, you'll notice the difference. Let's try weather.com. And right here. Again, everything moved, loaded up pretty fast. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, one more website. And my next website is going to be New York One. Which, if you live in New York, that's the what. That's really the news you're gonna be watching, in my opinion. If you have Time Warner, again, load it up pretty good. Internet Explorer. Here's the weather. Uh, I'm talking about New York One, uh, NewYorkOne.com, and there you go. Load it up pretty fast. So I give it to Internet Explorer. This is not gonna convince me to switch to Internet Explorer, but decent. There you go. Um, I give it to Internet Explorer for speed. Internet Explorer is actually pretty fast. It's actually a little bit faster than Google Chrome. So there you go. Comment, rate, and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching.